what's going on guys welcome back to another youtube video and in this video i'm going to show you how to make some cool things with turtle and python so let's get started <music> Alright, so as you see here, I'm on replit.com. I'm gonna log in because I already have an account. If you don't, create one and I would suggest you follow my first tutorial in order to, you know, just know something about Turtle. So yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so I've logged in now. So let me go to, to this FH Coding Turtle and this is the code that I wrote last time this is the code that i wrote in my last video so actually i'll just delete all of this because i really don't need that so now you know we can do t dot forward 150 t dot right 120 and t dot forward 100 but the thing is Writing all of this gets kind of repetitive, especially if we want a certain thing to be done many times. And this is where loops come in. For i in range 5, t dot forward. All right, so t dot forward 100. Now let's do t dot left 90. And let's actually change range to 4. So if we run this, we now have a square. And obviously we can make cooler things than squares. So, you know, let's say t.forward10 and t.left one degree. Now let's make this 360. So if I run this, it's making a circle of sorts and it's obviously really big because I'm having it move 10 degrees that many times and you can't see the top of it anymore but yeah you sort of get an idea and if I want it to fit in the screen I can just change the degree so let's say make let's make it if I want it to fit in the screen I could make it one degree and now if I run this, you see it's now making a circle like that. And obviously typing t dot forward one and t dot left one each 360 times is kind of painful and no one really wants to do that. Now let's try something else, you know, t dot forward 25, t dot left 150. Let's just run this and see what happens. And it looks kind of small, so let me stop that. And let me make it t dot forward 100. And I'll speed it up. So t dot speed, let's make the speed 5. So you see, it's now making a star shape. It already went over, but it's just, it's just repeating over it because we have it going 360 times. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. And now, let's try something else out. Let's, let's just make speed equal 8 so it goes a little faster. And now, let me do if i modulus 2 equals 0, t dot right 20 degrees, t dot forward 5 pixels. And what this is saying is, if i is even, so it's saying i modulus 2, and that means if you divide i by 2, and that's equal to 0. So that's basically the same as checking to see if it's even. So let's run this. You see, it's a, it's a bit more random now, but it's still, but it's starting to make a shape. And I actually didn't know what this would look like. This was completely just a guess. And I assumed it would make something. And you see, th this looks pretty cool. Kind of like a shuriken of sorts. You can make a lot of things with Turtle and that's the really cool thing about it. Obviously this video, I only showed you a couple examples and a lot of them were super basic. But 
if you spend more time into it, you know, try messing around with some things and and seeing what other things do, you might end up with something super cool. And Turtle is actually so cool that that in my videos, my introduction, like where it goes FH coding, the animation, that's actually Turtle. And in my next video, I'll show you how I did that. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.